So, thanks all for coming. At the start. It's, really, it's my first conference actually, so it will be very formal for me. So, uh, I will present some, some of my work on photography, uh, what I did and what I plan to do actually. But I, I, I got a work in progress on, on photography for one year now. And so I will try to explain how I, I, I come to the photo that you see on, on, on the poster. Okay. So, so before, um, when, I, when I enter, in, I come from Nantes in France. And um, I'm in the School of Architecture of Nantes. And when I entered there, um, I already made uh, photography for three years, and it was uh, kind of new playground because uh, the city of Nantes is a lot of, of, of abstract thing, which is the first thing that I, that I did when, when I did photography was, my first photography was a lot of abstracts and, and everything like very composed and everything was about color, and uh, and how I built it like a paint. So basically, now it was a huge playground for that because you can take like building and try because not is like full of life. Every architect wants to go there because there is a new uh, field that is uh, it's beginning to be newly constructed, and so a lot of people want to go there. So architects tend to do a lot of things that can be described as very abstract and, and very... It, it was my type of thing actually for a long time uh, before and after I go in, in architecture. And so I built all my photography. My first photography was nearly just that, just abstract, urban abstract and how I can compose with that, with the color and I, how I can build something. So that not talking about architecture it was more about color and composition uh, in the urban way, and that was the first thing in architecture in in in, in, uh, in the school of architecture. And actually, after I think that the school of architecture just gave me a notion of sociological thing, so how the how the human can be in the city and how everything it was like a new thing for me because I didn't didn't saw the human thing in my photography and so I, I think it was the start of the beginning where I tried to understand what was the place of the people in the city and how they they live uh, in the city but that was again all composition very abstract but there was a lot of beginning to be to see face and see people in that and so that was that was one one of my question at that moment it was the place of the man in the city and actually I I think I I take my first punch in my photograph face uh, with that photograph which is uh, Julian Cochra which is a French uh, photograph who just live in Montreal and he, he, for two years, he made one photography of this city uh, every week. And so there is a book, uh, he, he, did, he, he did a book about that. And so he got that spirit of, of the city and he, he described very well the movement and sometimes there is nothing. Uh, just, just the city, the way he composed the image, the way he used black and the very contrast thing to make sort of melancholic uh, spirit. And it was like, that was the first of all I saw of him. And it was like full of, full of life and, and full of things that defined the city. And, and that was like the first thing that I saw. And I was just, okay, oh, we did that. Oh, we can, we can be in that city. And, Actually, you, I'm not sure you, you don't see that, but there is a rain. You can sort of slow that for the reflection. 
but there is rain uh, on that you can see on the photograph because it, it using a uh, very short time shutter time, so you can cut static rain, and that makes the ambience of the thing very very easy to understand. So I try. I think it's that at that moment I try to to see the city as a landscape. That was the first time that I saw that. Like I try to compose uh, the city as a landscape, uh, but I I I cannot. It was again abstract, very composed, very colorful, but I didn't get the life that that the very. The, the madness in the city, I felt like very composing, very black and white, not very colorful, but I, I've got like one human that I did, I cannot find a way to put life in it. There is photography of two there, but mostly of my photographs are from Nantes and, and San Jose. That, that's for now. That's why I love Nantes, because you can make 100 meters and you, you seem like to be out of the way. And it can be very, very, very beautiful to see that type of, of ambience. It's always enough. But I cannot go on, on city center and and take a photograph that shoot me like to, to feel the life in the city and to feel that. I, and I cannot I cannot understand why. And I was like, maybe I have to search for the thing. And and I, I just trying to find the place of the, the man in, in the city that was very hard. And so it was at this moment that I found this, and it's uh, Dave Moonfall, which uh, is a photograph that only work on double exposure photography. So double exposure photography is a technique that you, you just take two photography on the on a single portion of film. So basically, it's uh, it's an ancient method, it's not a numerical thing, and it's very technical, it's very hard, but it gives a lot, lot more on meaning in your photography, and it's very difficult to do that because there is no second chance, but it's like, it discusses about people with their city and all they hear that, so I began to understand I began to start searching on that technique and to understand how it did that. And so I basically copied that, but I, I find it was too easy because it's Photoshop. Uh, because I, I cannot do this with, you know, uh, with my DSLR uh, camera. So I was like taking two photography and put it on, on one and, and on Photoshop over there. The Dave Moonfall never worked on Photoshop. There is a, uh, writing on the all of his photography, which mark no Photoshop to relay. Because actually it's too easy, so it's not honest when you when you come on that. And but I found that very interesting to the way to represent that and I try to I try to, to to go on that way to try to represent the life in the sea. And so the first, the first photography that I that I did on that method was in Berlin. So it's a photograph in uh, in it's a U-Bahn in Berlin. And so I saw that U-Bahn, and I take three photography at the same place uh, at the same moment, and the U-Bahn would just go by, and and I did that, and it was a triptych, same place, same moment, but it didn't shoot me. That was my first one. It didn't, it didn't go the, the sort of flashing light that was just before me. So I tried to work on that on Photoshop and try to, to superpose, but not in, in the double exposure, because double exposure, when you do this, I say, is not honest. So I tried to do this in a new way, in a modern way. So I tried to put the, what computer are made, like the green, the, the green, the the blue and the red, and so each photograph was a filter, green, blue, and red, and I love that there. And so the, the thing that you can throw here, there is a black and white part because this part don't move. So basically all the data are the same, and when they are the same in each color, they began to be black and white. And 
when the data moves on one filter, it takes the color of that of the filter. So it was like a huge thing for me because like this I can represent the the, the movement like the way I want it to, to represent it. And so I tried to do that in Nord because I I began after the four year I began to know Nord the city very well and I know where uh, because there is place in the city that just move every time. So I just began to do this. This is my first photograph, this photograph that you saw on the poster. And so basically what you saw is three photographs in it, in one. And actually the color means that the person or the thing move. And when, it, when there is no color, it means that it doesn't move. Beside the, the Photoshop overlay of the tree filter, there is, and the contrast, of course, the contrast uh, option. There is no, uh, there is no crop of the thing. It's like a scientific, not really using the, the word in right way. And sort of trying to second, second show the, the movement and see how the, the how the city live and how the architecture stays the same, but without the color, it's, it's not it's just a desert, desert place. And there is no movement, so the color adds something to that place, and and so I'm trying to find a way to do that better. So it's it's a work in progress. There's a lot of things that I don't know. There's things that work sometimes, things that don't work the, the way I want it. But like this, you can see that. The architecture is here in the city, just like like when you've got a flow of color and you've got that black and white thing, and it's part of, of my work. It's, I try to I try to do that in Limerick City, but I I I didn't know uh, the right place to do that, and like I did I, I, I feel that I need to know the city to find the right place to to to. to to do that, and that's why I can do very easily in, in notes and find the right place to put and the right one to go that. And and sometimes it, it works very well. That was what I tried to show. Thank you. So if you have question, it will be a pleasure. Three, um, I try with uh, like five photography of LA, and it kind of works uh, because you need when when you compose the photography like uh, like the first one, this one, you need to to compose the photography in three times. So you need to let blank and thing, and when you when you pull too much data. It, it began to be very messy and, and you know I work on, on color and composition and so it was too messy for me like, like I, I, so actually what I did for that I did five photographies so I can move in time like find the, the let me some liberty to find the right moment but yeah uh, it, I, it's, it, it, I makes it, it makes the place three times as dense when you have three different photographs over there. So that place is only one third, I guess, full as it looks there. Yeah. Um, but actually, the thing is, uh, I, I'm trying to take in, uh, a, um, like like a metronome thing, like yeah. so it's the same delay. So but actually, I think that it's you can see it very easily on that. Like you've got three times the same person because it was short. Because I feel that. I need to take it short because it was that flow of people, and and so that's why I I try to do that. So yeah, basically it's a third of of the population, but it's it's I try to transcript that flow. So yeah. It's really nice. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Has your photography directly influenced your design work here? Uh, yeah, actually, I 
the double exposure, for example, I try to use it uh, in the simple way. So the double exposure, I try to use it in the design for design uh, work to make link very easily. And um, actually, I use the photography as a sort of ambience transcript uh, of the site. For example, when I when I want to highlight something, I try to find in the site the, the right point of view and the right light to highlight the element that I want to show on photograph. So yeah, I think I think that photograph is part of my tools in architecture as as the sketches can be. But you have to be very precise when you do it in architecture because you have to, you have to think your composition and just not to feel it, not to take it very very not snapshot. You can take it snapshot. It can be your thing to take not a snapshot. It's not mine because I need to be in the landscape and I need to take my time. That's why I think it's a good tool for me in architecture. Like this, I can take my time on, on the building and begin to like sort of discuss with him. You seem to have learned a lot from top. You know, you use keywords there, movement and color. Yeah. Do, do these things as well, please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, actually, it's, it's a big part. Do you think it's, it's tuning your, your sense of light a lot working with photography? Sorry? It, like your sense of light and, and how it is in space? Yeah. That it has affected your view on that? On the photography? Yeah. Um, uh, I try a maximum to do with the light I... with the light I, I've got. Like, yeah. Because you... Uh, for example, landscape photograph just go on the site several times a day and several day in a week to get the best light. But, but I think it's not. I'm, I'm more on the street photography thing, so uh, I try to doing with the light that I've got, and you cannot change it. You can when you see like the flow, when you see that you've got uh, a sun in a few minutes, you can wait. But, Sometimes it's it's very cloudy, so you have to make with that, so you find the best way to to compose your photography with that. Was Photoshop help that? Sorry. <coughs> you said you use Photoshop a lot. Actually, and Photoshop can help. Like if it is cloudy, exposures can be harder. Like I guess, what, like what is your opinion of Photoshop? Is it is it a thing for cheating or is it a thing that is another tool that we can use? Because like you said about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah no. You said about um, the honesty. The, 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 yeah, the, the honesty and photography. I mean I I'm I'm still not sure myself, like if is Photoshop cheating? Because like Um uh, actually I I've got what your opinions on, on, on Photoshop. Actually uh, so I uh, I was using, for this, I was using a lot of Photoshop because it was a way for me to copy. But yeah, actually, uh, the Photoshop thing is a question in Photograph for five years now because they, with uh, advertisement, they tend to use a lot and you, the Photograph seems to lose honesty. Like, they, they cannot feel like telling the truth and they have to make it uh, to, to be prudent with that when you've got an audience. But the thing is, uh, when you make a photography, it's not new, actually. Photoshop, it, we call it Photoshop now, but in photography that's not new, and you've got that beautiful uh, photo with with a marker on it, with plus one, less, less, less darker, and they use it, they use they, they crop it, they, you can manipulate the photography and it exists even if it's not digital. So uh, I think it's easier now, but I, I think it's, it's, it's a way to doing photography. It, it, you can give meaning of your photography now as it was before. I'm, I'm not sure we, we're losing on SD actually. I, I would be of a similar opinion because like this photograph here, if, if, if you were to use Photoshop on it, or if you were not to use Photoshop on it, you have a certain amount of um, choices you can use on your camera, and then it's about selecting. So I, I, I personally think that Photoshop is a natural extension of the camera. Yeah. Um, but I just want to hear your opinion on it. 
because actually uh, there is a lot of things that it's not just about color and, and because for example this photography you, you, you must find the right place the right moments and uh, you must uh, find the right shutter speed and all the technical thing in the camera and is not digital you cannot do that in Photoshop when your photo is not cropped very well you cannot like do it better it will be very hard so so yes it the, the limit between non-honest and honest is very hard to find but I think that is a huge question for the photograph now and it's even huger for photographing photo journalists because it's, it's the point of the journalism is to be honest and, and actually they've got this question for five years now do you find that the photographs you take of Nantes are more colourful than the photographs you take in Limerick because Limerick's a greater city than Nantes colourful? Uh, that's funny because uh, actually uh, I find um, Limerick uh, with more colour than, than uh, for example this city here which is Seneza, which is on the north of Nantes. I think that Limerick, I, I feel that Limerick is a lot more colorful than I think it was like, yeah, when you, when you go in, in the hyper center, you've got full of life everywhere. But I think that the, I, I tend to go outside of the city because I think that I can find my playground. My, I think it, my playground is in there. Uh, but no, Limerick is, Limerick really, uh, I think like Limerick with the, the brick and like you've got a patchwork which is architecturally, I'm not sure it's good or not, but I'm, don't, when you do photograph you don't really care about that, you see the yeah. color, the composition, and Limerick work as a patchwork of that, and actually not is the same, mm -hmm. so there's a lot of link between these two cities, and I, I don't feel that it's not great, not at all. Well, maybe the weather can be great, <laughs> but not the city. <coughs> Even the grey is cool to work with. <laughs> but, yeah, it's sort of challenge on photography because you tend to make very contrast things because you like the black and thing. But actually, there is a few photographs that work on the greyish tone. Like even in color, you've got that grayish tone. You can have with grayish tone. And they make ambience and think very, very sensitive. So it's not my thing personally. But I like to work on very contrast, black and white, or very colorful thing. But yeah, it can be a, a good way to study this city. the landscape that will define what, the way I photograph it, it's more the way I feel it, so maybe they, they can be linked, for example, uh, as the landscape that I photograph in Haywood, in, in the garden Haywood, near Brooklyn, or in Longer, they link because it, there was the same light, but I, I, I photograph it different way because it was not the same subject, so I, I have to 
to, to crop it, to place it in my photography, not in the same way. And the difference between like a photography like this and uh, for the, uh, the, the second shell theory photography, the theory with the last theory that I watch, so is the because when I got in, in second shell theory, what I what I do is I find a place which is my first thing. I find a place, so I have to. I I've, I've got to find the right place to. Sorry, I pass it very quickly. But I find the the right place to. Like this, I my first my first time it was my first thing when I got there is to crop right the building, the architecture first, and and let the people doing that thing. One of my uh, one of my uh, limits or objective was not to take uh, a tripod because it's very hard when you are on the city. Uh, it's very hard to to cop natural. Uh, behavior when you, when you're photographing and you're shooting at you're shooting at people even more with this one that, and and so it's very hard to cut like natural thing and it's even harder if you take a triple because you're like a statue and people will so my first thing is uh, for 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 photography like that is to take the architecture and let the people pass by and when I feel it's the right moment. I will, I will, I will take my my five or three photographs, and with with the right lapse of time. Okay. But it's completely. I think it's completely different. But I think this one is completely different from everything that I that I did or that I do here in the landscape. Is there any significance of the three colors he used? So, uh, yeah, actually, I, I want a numeric thing, and the three color are actually the three color are red, blue, and green, which is a three color of the numerical way. And so, actually, when they mixed up, they played all the color, like, you know that. But it's like, for me, it was a way to anchor this in, in the computer uh, thing. Back to, to, you've got the double exposure with just a film thing, and, and I want to, to be outside. As I had a tempo thing for that, the order that the photos were shot, you'll see a red, what you order again, this one would be? Red, blue, and, and green. So the red would be the initial, then yeah. it would be a split second later. If you want, but yeah, red, blue, green, actually that three photo, just three photo that was each color for them. Yeah, just yeah, that's it. That's why there is this black and white thing. Yeah. Because when it's the same data, it may be black and white. And did you leap from this photo to the next photo? Then? Sorry. Was there work between so you couldn't between this photo and, and, and the, the next? Sequence, yeah. The next photo. Did you just that was in one clean leap? Did you come to that conclusion, or did you? Was there other? Kind of tests. Actually, the, I I didn't know if it works when I when I got this photo was just yeah I got it <laughs> but, but I didn't uh, I didn't know if it works well on yeah. our city so what I did is I just take photography of my window view and just to see if I can overlap this and if everything was okay and that was sort of very playful day because I was just <laughs> I tried to do something, sometimes it was crap and sometimes it worked. Yeah. And actually I've got this seri series of photography that I didn't put there but where I put one photography every fifteen minutes. Okay. Yeah. And actually the uh, from my uh, from my uh, window view I've got like the landscape of notes and I, there is just the landscape and the cloud. And it was a cloudy day. And actually, when I overlapped them, the landscape was black and white, and the cloud was like, <laughs> you see, it was like full of color because yeah. the cloud every 15 minutes just moved, passed by. So that's why they, there is that sense of, of speed. Because yeah. that's why I, I, I had to find the right sense to, to. Because if I take too much time to yeah. doing a photography, I will got the cloud, but the people will, will 
not be the same, like it will be the different ambience and we were talking about honesty again. So we're kind of filtering the way thinking of the different speeds and ways. Yeah. The clouds move at this rate of 15 minutes. Yeah. Which then makes the people incomprehensible in that kind of thing. Yeah, that's it. Yes, right from the Sorry. Yeah. That was a new challenge for me to compose a photography in three times. <laughs> Because I never did that, and you have to compose with some lucky thing. That man that just goes straight there and straight there, and you just have to think about this in your photography, in your final photography. But you have to think it now, not just on your computer. Say, okay, I missed, I missed it. Too bad. Yeah. Uh, but you have to think on the site where where that man gonna be and everything. So it's very hard. So it was hard for me. Just a lot of change. I think no more questions. Okay, we can finish it there.